Databricks have launched a lot of features that was previously available in the full version. And today I'm going to show you how to connect AWS with Databricks. So let's get started. I'm going to log in with my previously uh, created account. So I'm going to show you. So you have to enter a code actually and then you'll be taken to this workspace. And as you can see, we have so many features that was not available before. So once we have we are able to log into the workspace, uh, the this the, the portal of the work of the of the data breaks. Now the the way to connect with AWS and Databricks is through this catalog. Okay. So here you will find the external data. So I have already created the AWS, uh, uh, the uh, a new account, a new container. So I created this first AWS DB container and I put that. So I'm going to do a similar thing again for you so that you can understand um, how it happens. Okay, so I'm going to create one external location. And before doing that, I will go to the S3 bucket and I will create one new bucket. So I'm going to give this as a test, test. Okay, so, so this is created and uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this name and I will go back to the catalog and so go back to the, to the catalog and external data, create external location, then next, then S3. test book and I'll generate a new token. So just for uh, understanding sake, I'm going to upload a file here so that uh, we can um, we can know that okay everything is working fine. So I'm going to upload um, this file originally here upload and close I'm going to go back to the bucket and now i'm going to go back to the and i'm going to copy the access token so once it's copied now i'll launch it in my quick start so you have to create your uh, an aws account so mine is already created and it will uh, just take you to the uh, account and here you have to just type your string and uh, once you start uh, just do that then acknowledge and then you create the stack so once you create the stack it will take a few minutes and then we'll see how it proceeds So as we can see, it has already started creating the, the giving the access roles here, creating the function. So cloud formation does everything. We don't have to take care of uh, anything here. But it, it basically what it does is that inside the AWS S3, inside the bucket. So if you just go to the S3 bucket, then you'll be able to see what is the uh, what it does is that see here it has created um, uh, ingestion file 
and inside the ingestion file it has created functions packages ingestion and the lambda package okay so that's how it's it's uh, triggering the process and it will be taking all the files from the text uh, test box 07 and we can see that inside the catalog now let's see so it's it's still in progress so once it's complete then you, we can see the rest of the functions so just um, i'll show you what i have already done with my previous um with the with uh, the, which i just did right now so i created a ingestion file and so when i'm when you go to the catalog if you go to the external file location here i already had a s3 ingestion file which one is uh, which is this one and here if i go to the um browse then i can see that three files had been uploaded i did this a while back that's why you can see and when i am going uh, to the to the notebook i can actually see all these by just uh, triggering an ls and i can see all the three files so so when we are done uh, done with this one we can we can do the same so so now we can see that it's complete so if we go to the ingestion if we go to the catalog let's see okay so it has created another uh, another location in the catalog which is the test box 07 and if we log into that if we browse we can see that the original CSV can be visible. And now if I create a notebook and I am trying to do a percentage like this. I'm just going to copy the one that I have already done. Okay. and the name was uh what was the name test box 07 so it will take some time for uh, the, the server to spin up then we can see And I'm going to do copy this as well now. exceeded okay i think uh, probably that's because i have uh, there is another workspace that is also running probably that's why it was not able to uh, take it so let me do something let me just create a uh, do it here oh there's a Test box zero seven. Okay, let's see if it's visible from the same error. Yeah, 
So this looks fine. And here I'm going to um, I'm going to see if I can see the should it be here. Yes, I can see here. So this is how you connect your AWS with Databricks within the new Databricks uh, Community Edition. Thank you so much for watching.